Innovation Spotlight. Power to X. How greenhouse gases are turned into valuable base chemicals. Climate change and its consequences is one of the biggest challenges of the 21st century. According to leading scientists, global CO2 emissions must be cut in half by 2030 to prevent serious climate impacts. The energy sector, ship and air traffic, transportation and the manufacturing industry release a steady stream of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Steel production alone accounts for 6 to 8 percent of worldwide CO2 emissions. Innovative Power to X technologies can play a crucial role in converting these greenhouse gases into valuable products. First, energy from renewable sources such as water, sun or wind is used in the electrolysis of water to produce so-called green hydrogen. With the help of catalysts, this hydrogen then reacts with carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide from industrial gas emissions or nitrogen from the air. As a result, ammonia, methanol, methane or other valuable chemicals are obtained. In the Carbon to Chem project, for example, Power to X technology is used to convert carbon dioxide containing industrial gases from the steel industry. In the first step, exhaust gases emitted from the steel plant are purified, the largest source of CO2 being the gas from the blast furnace, which results from the reduction of iron ore with coal to pig iron. Catalysts and adsorbents from Clariant remove impurities, such as sulfur compounds and other unwanted substances. They also optimize the gas composition for subsequent synthesis. For example, a synthesis gas consisting of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen and green hydrogen can be used for methanol production. At around 250 degrees Celsius and 70 bar pressure, this gas mixture is passed through a water-cooled reactor with vertical pipes, in which Clarion's Mega Max catalyst is used. It consists of copper and zinc oxide particles as active centers, as well as zinc aluminum oxide particles, which provide the necessary chemical stability and prevent these many individual centers from growing together. Carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen molecules are adsorbed by the large catalyst surface. The molecules react at the boundary between the copper and zinc oxide particles. The zinc oxide particles and copper atoms act together and reinforce each other's activity. Carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen atoms form new bonds and are converted to methanol and water. After this, the newly formed molecules detach from the catalyst surface. The methanol obtained this way is used for many purposes in the chemical industry and can serve as low emission fuel for more sustainable modes of transport. By using renewable energies in combination with Clarion's catalysts, greenhouse gases can be converted and the CO2 footprint of industrial facilities and fuels significantly reduced a major contribution to climate protection, which Clariant is continuously enhancing in cooperation with various technology partners.